Welcome back, everyone. And we have wrapped up both series from uh, day two of uh, Gamers Without Borders. Again, a beautiful cause that we're all gathered here for. And I have three fifths of Team Pepega right here, Gork. And Bulldog, gentlemen, how are you both today? I'm doing fine. Uh, it was a fun Dota game. Last game was a little bit painful to watch, but otherwise fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same for me. Uh, you know, both our teams lost, so I think we're both a little bit sad, but you know, it was some good Dota overall. All right, I'll, I'll go in order. I'll, I'll start with Alliance. Man, Bulldog, your boys put on a show, though. I mean, what a easily the most intense game and making Secret Sweat at that as well. I mean, how are you feeling about uh, your boys right now? Honestly, I feel pretty good. Uh, I, I came into this thinking that it was going to be a quick 2-0. Secret is the best team in the world right now. And Alliance past games against them has been really bad, but you know, it was really close. It was really close, and the games were also really fun to watch. So, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, and uh, can you, does that? It definitely reflects growth at this point with this team. Yeah, for sure. You know, they're just getting better and better. S4 came back from a, a long break, so it's still a little bit rusty. You know, he's still not familiar with the neutral items. He forgets it sometimes, but you know, they're getting better at it. So it's all good. Also, they're making a case for FNG. He seems to be gelling well. Yeah, FNG, for sure. Uh, I'm not sure what his, uh, you know, he's in a team, I think. So I don't know how that's going to go. We'll see. Okay. A team. OK, so Alliance with some notable highlights there. Uh, Gork, you were talking about the last game being painful. Um, <laughs> We were talking uh, off, uh, off off stream here, and you said it was more about, I mean, Navi definitely impressive with the execution, but you were also, it's more also with certain mistakes that OG made throughout. Uh, can you kind of elaborate a little bit more on that? Yeah, I mean, uh, under the circumstances, OG are doing really well with uh, stand-in yes. and all the ping issues they're doing, of course. But I feel like the, they were kind of a little bit too... Um, persistent with certain things in games, like maybe taking Roche a little bit too much and maybe getting this high ground a little bit too much. And certain item decisions like Mask of Madness and maybe mm. maybe taking the game a little bit for granted might have cost them a bit here. It definitely did. If you were going to look back at maybe certain points where it, things could have done differently, what would you highlight? I, all I can think about is the Mask of Madness, honestly, right now. And that's the <laughs> one moment I can highlight for myself. Uh, there was also another fight where they took uh, closer to the tier 2 bottom and at Radiant where Sumail so did not have his BKB delivered in the courier yet, and it died on the way. Uh, and that was a really crucial moment for them as well in the last game. Well put. And you know what, uh, Gor, I just, I also want to uh, highlight this, and I think you're one of the best person to talk about it. Uh, is it unfair? I mean, you have two-time TI pressure with a practically new roster. I mean, yeah. is... You know what I mean? This is not the same OG that won TI-8 and TI-9, but you can't help but put on that pressure of having, I mean, pretty much the only team that won TI-9, uh, TI twice. Is it unfair for maybe the community or people to put on that pressure on this current roster? Oh yeah, I think the pressure is immense for every member in there. They can probably feel it as well. I think they're living up living up to it well. I mean, every, some people had their doubts about this roster when they first came in, but I think when they're their full roster and not playing on ping, they look extremely strong, and they're actually living up to their expectations. Mm. Uh, and uh, so, okay, but again, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Bulldog and, of course, Gork for the support and coming in here. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing Team Pepega in action. <laughs> We would love to see that, uh, but right now we are going to be focusing on the reason we're all here, which is the charities. I mean, both the teams, of course, your teams have uh, unfortunately lost, but they have a wonderful cause behind them. This is $100,000. Bulldog, um, the, your team picking $100,000 to the organization of their choice. And uh, here we have it. UNICEF for every child, buddy. Yeah, that's just good stuff. You know, there's a lot to choose from, but you know, any charity is good as long as you know it's reliable, which all of these are. So you know, it's all good. Can't complain about that at all. It's a lot of money on this tournament, so just good stuff. That is correct, and a hundred thousand dollars will affect and impact so many people in such a good way throughout this time. And Gork, your team, OG. They're going to be having $100,000 too. Let's see what they've decided. 
Ooh. There you go, International Medical Corps. And uh, I think it's the first time this organization was picked in this regard, so that's uh, great as well. Um, OG definitely being part of a wonderful team, Gort. Yeah, I'm proud of them. 100,000 is a lot of money. It definitely is. Um, uh, but tomorrow we have uh, some things to look forward to. I just want to get your thoughts on Secret and Navi. Let's start with Bulldog. How does this matchup look, I man? I mean, how do you feel about this? Um, it's it's hard to say. Obviously, Secret is the favorites because they yes. are the, the best team in the world right now, I would say. And uh, you could easily see this going 3-0, but Navi did show a lot of promise today. So I, I definitely think they can take one, maybe two, even three games is possible. So mm -hmm. as long as we get some good Dota, I will be happy. Okay. Uh, if you're going to make a... I'm going to put you on the spot about, uh, though. If you're going to make a prediction, w what would be the end score? from this best of five? Uh, I would probably guess a 3-1 for Secret. 3-1 for Secret. Okay, what are some notable things you'd be looking forward to, Gork, for this uh, matchup tomorrow? Well, it's going to be fun to see um, see both teams going at it. I mean, Navi showed a lot of promise today. They they were definitely came into the series, last series, a lot stronger than I thought they would. And uh, yes. yeah, Secret better bring their A game, at least. That is true. And predictions? Uh, what would the score? It was 3-1 to Secret by Bulldog. And what's your prediction? Yeah, I think now we can, are probably going to take uh, one game and then Puppy's going to get mad and he's going to try really hard and they're not going to take any more games. So I'm also thinking they're going to take the first game and then lose three. Or well, there you have it. Well, I mean, Navi did surprise us uh, today and maybe they will surprise us tomorrow. Bulldog, Gork, thank you, thank you so much for being part of this. And uh, yes, we have uh, best of five to look forward to tomorrow. And we are going to wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you so much to Gamers Without Borders. By the way, you can see the site up if you want to donate. It's www.gamerswithoutborders.com if you want to move more causes forward these wonderful organizations we're all a part of and we are all in this fight together thank you for being a part of it please do stay safe please do take care all of you uh at this time and yes secret versus navi will be a grand final tomorrow good night good afternoon good morning take care everyone